In this chapter, we're going to learn about iteration, so doing the same commands over and over, and custom functions through a data simulation exercise. So first, let's set up our R Markdown file and load the tidyverse. Now let's start with the basic iteration functions. We learned about two of these in um, the working with data chapter. The first one is wrap. Now this repeats um, the first argument some number of times. So let's say our first argument is A, and we want to repeat that three times. We get a vector with three instances of A. Your first argument can be a vector as well, so we can repeat the letters A and B three times. That repeats the entire vector once, twice, three times. If instead you want to repeat each item in the vector three times each, you can set the second argument to each, and that will change this to three A's and three B's. Also, we can set the second argument to a vector. It needs to be the same length as the first vector, but can contain a different number of times to repeat each of the items in the first vector. So A is repeated two times, B is repeated three times. You can also combine times and each. Here, this repeats each item three times and repeats the entire vector twice. The other function that we talked about in previous lectures is SEQ. This function lets us create a sequence of um, items with some pattern. So let's say we want to create a sequence of integers from 0 to 10. A sequence, the first argument is your starting number. The second argument is your ending number. You can also add a third argument, which is by and you can increase from 0 to 10 in steps of 2 or steps of 5. It might be more straightforward for some problems to say how many steps you want. You can use the length out argument. Let's say we want to have a vector with six items that goes from 0 to 10. We can do that or a vector with five items, and this will calculate the equal steps for you. You don't need to do that yourself. The third basic iteration function is replicate. This is a new one. Replicate lets you repeat an expression some number of times, n times. So if we set n equals 3, and the expression that we want to replicate is r norm 5. So normally, r norm 5. So r norm 5 will give us a vector of five numbers that are drawn from a normal distribution. By default, this has a mean of 0 and a standard deviation of 1. Replicate will run that function however many times you specify. So here we have three repetitions of this vector of five, and in a format that's easy to convert into a table. By default, replicate simplifies your data into this matrix format if the function returns vectors that are all the same length. If you don't want that, you can set simplify to false, and then it will return a list where each item of the list is the returned vector. In the next section, we'll talk about some more advanced iteration functions, the map and apply functions.